Hello, thank you for joining me today for the Lab Cases webinar. In today's webinar, we will cover setting up laboratories, adding lab cases to the appointment view, lab slips, creating a lab case, attaching a lab case to an appointment or planned appointment, and tracking a lab case. The Open Dental Lab Case feature allows offices to create lab cases for their patients and provides a way to track whether those lab cases have been received before the delivery or seat appointment. First, laboratories must be set up in Open Dental. We will click on Setup in the main toolbar and Laboratories. Any laboratories already created by the office will show in a list here. To edit an existing laboratory, we would simply double click on the lab name in that list. And it brings up the edit laboratory window. To create a new laboratory, we will click the add button in the lower right corner. We will enter a description. A phone number. and any other in information we may wish to show. Wireless phone, address, city, state, zip, email. Uh, if you'd like any of that to appear, you would enter it there. Any notes you may have relating to this particular laboratory can be entered in the notes box. This is a good place to indicate which restorations this lab provides for the office or for any other information you might want to see at a glance. So if crowns are typically sent to one lab, you can enter crowns here. I'm going to go ahead and enter crown and bridge. Uh, you can also add other information in this, uh, such as maybe scheduling conflicts. So maybe this lab is closed on Wednesdays. But Wednesdays. There is an is hidden box right below that. So if we're no longer sending cases to a particular laboratory, we can mark that lab as hidden. And then right below that we have lab slips. Open Dental has a lab slip already created for you to use and this will be attached to all laboratories by default. We call it the default lab slip. Offices can set up custom lab slips using sheets. The webinar on customizing sheets is linked below. The bottom half of this window is for turnaround times. This is used to indicate the expected time it will take for the lab to return the case to the office for each specific service. So to create a turnaround time, we would simply click the Add button up here on the left side, enter a service description, we'll call this one a PFM, and right below that we have days published and actual days. Weekends and holidays are not included in the published days or actual days. Open Dental will just be counting business days. So the days published is how many days the lab says it will need to finish the case. We will use nine days for this example. Actual days can include an additional one or two days for travel time for the lab case to be picked up or dropped off or for shipping the lab case. We'll use 11 days. We would click OK to save our changes. If we have another service with different turnaround times, we can add more. By clicking the Add button, we can enter a service description of Bridge. Let's say, for example, the lab has said it will take 10 days. Um, actual days maybe might be more like 12 to include travel time, and click OK to save our changes. After you've created the lab laboratory and added turnaround times for all the services that laboratory does, simply click OK on the lower right corner to save your changes. And close this window. The appointment view should also be edited to include the lab case information. So on the main toolbar, again, we will click on Setup, Appointments, and Appointment Views. We will be using the F1 view 
to make our modifications. So we can double click on the F1 view and this is our appointment edit window. In order to see the lab case information on the appointment, the lab should be showing on your main list, so this area. The lab is an available row that we can highlight and use our blue arrow button to move it onto the main list. Generally, the lab information should also be listed toward the top of the appointment, so it can be seen on appointments with shorter lengths. So again, we can just select that lab by clicking on it once to highlight it, and use our green up arrow on the lower right corner of this window to move it toward the top, right under patient's name in this case. Lab can also be moved to the upper right corner or lower right corner of an appointment simply by double clicking on that row in your main list and changing the alignment to upper right corner or lower right corner. We will leave that in the main list for now. You can also change the text color for your labs. Just by clicking the change button, you can select a green color maybe for your, your text for the lab information. Click OK to save that change and OK to save your changes to the appointment view. So let's create a lab case now. We have a sched uh, scheduled appointment today for Jenny Johnson. She's having a crown on tooth number 14 today. To create a lab case for this patient, we will click on the chart module button on the left side of our window. And then on the toolbar at the top of the screen, right above the patient's tooth chart, we'll click on the lab case button. This is our lab case window. Our patient's name shows here on the top left. Right below that are two fields that would indicate whether or not this case is attached to an appointment or a planned appointment. Those would be blank for now. A field to indicate a fee. This fee is not associated with the patient account, uh, but it might indicate uh, the fee the lab would charge for this particular service. There is also an invoice number field if you wish to track that information. The box that says lab lists the laboratories that the office has currently added to their laboratories list. So we would select the lab this case is being sent to We'll click Downtown Dental Lab in this case, the one we just created. And then in our set due date, we would select the service, the restoration that we're sending to this lab. So we will click the PFM crown in this case. After clicking that, you'll notice to the bottom of that, Open Dental has calculated the due date. So based on our turnaround times we've created in our laboratory for this procedure, the turn, we expect this case to be due back in the office on December 14th at 5 p.m. We can enter instructions for the lab case in the instructions box at the bottom. If you're using handwritten lab slips provided by the labs, um, at least enter the tooth number and restoration in this notes box. If you're using Open Dental to print a lab slip, then add the rest of the instructions that would go along with this lab case, including shade, uh, anything else that you may wish to add as far as instructions to the lab. We can click the new slip at the bottom to create that lab slip. And here is our lab slip. The instructions on this slip can be modified if necessary. Maybe we've changed our mind on shade. Doctor can sign this lab slip electronically, and this can be printed, emailed, or saved as a PDF. We can click OK to save our changes. The upper right of the Edit Lab Case window contains tracking information. Here we can create date and time stamps for created, which is now, sent, received, and quality checked.
So we can click the Now button, and now we'll add the current date and time for created. To save our changes to the lab case, we would click OK on the lower right corner. You'll notice that now there is a lab case line in our progress notes, and it has the due date of December 14th at 5 p.m. If we wish to add, make any changes to this lab case, we can simply double click on this line. For example, when this case is sent out, we can edit this lab case just by clicking the now to the right of the sent field, and it adds a date stamp for when this case was shipped or picked up. Click OK. And now our progress note indicates that this case has been sent. So scheduling a seat or delivery appointment. We have more than one way to do this. Let's start in the appointments module. With our patient selected, we can click on the Make Appointment button at the toolbar at the top of your appointment module window. Offices using an older version of Open Dental would locate this button on the far right of your module. So we'll click Make Appointment and Create New Appointment. This opens our Edit Appointment window. We can select the Crown Seat Procedure in the Procedures grid on the upper right. We can manually adjust the time needed for this appointment as necessary using the slider bar on the far left. And we can add a lab case. In the center of your appointment window, you will notice there's a lab button. For offices, again, using an older version of Open Dental, you would locate this button on the far left of this edit appointment window. Let's click lab. Any open cases already created for this patient would show in a list here. We would just select the correct case. This is for the PFM crown on tooth number 14 and click OK. Now we can see that this lab case is attached to this appointment and we can see the due date. Click OK to create this appointment and move the appointment to the pin board. And on the pin board, we can see the lab sent information and that it's due on 12-14-20. So for scheduling, we can then quickly navigate to the day after that due date. In this case, that would be December 15th and simply drag this appointment onto into a correct operatory and drop it into place. The appointment indicates again that the lab is sent and our due date is 12-14-20, so the day before this date that we've scheduled. If the wrong case is accidentally attached to this appointment, we can simply double click into the appointment Click our lab button again and detach this case from this appointment. Click OK to save our changes. So I'm going to show you an alternative way to use planned appointments with lab cases. So for now, I will just go ahead and delete this appointment. Planned appointments are useful in everyday scheduling as well as when patient is not going to schedule the seat appointment at the time they leave. So again, we can click into the chart module, and to the right of the graphical tooth chart, we will click on the planned appointments tab. We can click the add button to create a new planned appointment. And again, this opens the Edit Planned Appointment window. So once again, we will select our procedure, the PFM seat on tooth number 14. 
Adjust our time with the slider bar on the left side as necessary. And click the lab button to attach the correct lab case. Click OK to save our changes. And this creates an appointment that is ready to be scheduled when the patient calls. When the patient calls to schedule, we can navigate back to the appointment module. Click Make Appointment. And we can now see this appointment already available, planned appointment number one. We can select that from our list of appointments and click Copy to Pinboard at the bottom of the window. And it moves that appointment to the pinboard. Again, we can see our lab case sent and it's due on 12-14. So we can navigate to any time after that due date. Again, we'll use the 15th as an example and simply drag that appointment from the pin board onto an operatory. One other thing to note now is that on the very far right of our screen we have our lab cases area and we have this field here to indicate we have one lab case scheduled for today and it has not yet been received. So office staff can easily see for the specific day on the schedule whether there are outstanding lab cases that uh, need to be checked in. When a lab case is received by the office, there are several ways that the office can access the lab case and mark it received. One way is to press the lab cases button from the appointment module. It's just to the left of where it says one not received. So when we click lab cases, this will bring up a list of cases that are attached to a scheduled appointment. To see lab cases that are not attached to appointments or lab cases that are unattached to unscheduled planned appointments, we would click the Show Unattached button at the top. To mark the patient's lab cases received, we would just double click into the correct lab case and click the Now button to the right of the Received field. Click OK to save our changes and close our lab cases window. We will then refresh our module just by clicking the Appointment Module button on the left side again. And now our lab cases area on the right of the module shows all the lab cases scheduled this day have been received. And our appointment itself shows that the lab has been received. Lab cases list can also be opened by clicking lists on the main toolbar and lab cases. The process to modify the status of a lab case would be the same. We would double click on the appropriate lab case and mark it as received. If there are a lot of open cases in this list, it may be easier to receive this case from the chart module itself. So for this patient, we can navigate into the chart module and double click on our lab case line to edit this lab case. When the doctor or staff is verified the lab case is for the correct patient, tooth number, and there are no issues, we can click the Now button to the right of the Quality Checked field, and that will enter a date, time, and stamp for Quality Checked. This information will also show on the appointment. When we click OK, we can also see on our lab case line that it has been quality checked. If, after the lab case is received, the patient is still not scheduled and still has a planned appointment, which would be, we would see in our planned appointments tab at the top of our chart module. The planned appointment can be moved to the pin board by clicking the pin board button at the top of the planned appointments tab after contacting the patient to schedule them. Thank you for joining me today. If you have additional questions, please refer to resource links below or call us at 503 363-5432.